Welcome to another Begbie Show. Uh, the Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, came out this Friday uh, in the UK. I went to watch it at the cinema, which was really nice to go back to the cinema and watch a film again, which was awesome. And it was a good film to go and watch at the cinema. So before I go into the review of this, I'm just going to start by saying I'm not calling this film bad by any means. So, um, obviously keep your, your pitchforks and torches away. I'm not calling it bad, but there's just a few things I want to say about it. Um, Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, director Michael Chaves, um, stories written by James Wan, it's by Warner Bros and had a budget of 39 million. So before I go, oh sorry, and the cast, uh, Vera Famiga, Patrick Wilson, Julian uh, Allard, uh, Rory O'Connor, Shannon Cook and John Noble is in this, um, so yeah there's some of the cast. Anyway, I'm going to go into this film, but before I do I'm just going to leap back. So we're going to leap back to the first Conjuring and awesome, absolutely awesome film. Not a bad word to say about that, I really enjoyed that film. I uh, loved the build up, the suspense, the way it kept you on the edge of your seat waiting for something to happen. I really loved all that and I liked how it was quite grounded in the way it was. So that that's just keep that in mind. Um, the second movie I was a little let down by. Um, wasn't so grounded. There was a lot of stuff in there that I thought I didn't need to be in there. Um, coming from England I've read a lot on the the Enfield Poltergeist and watched a lot of programmes and stuff so yeah I know what was going on and what was in that and I understand it's a film so they're going to have to make it a bit more dramatic and put extra bits in but some of the stuff I thought could have been left out. Um, on that being said I also think The Conjuring 2 would have made an awesome uh, one of the side movies, one of the spin-offs, uh, maybe like Annabelle and the Nun where Ed and Lorraine Warren maybe come in, showed their faces for a bit and then went and the rest of the story was told from Maurice Gross uh, who originally took the case. But it is what it is and it was an entertaining movie so I'm not calling that bad. I was just a little let down by what the first one was which was awesome and stuff. So, um, so now this brings me to this film uh, in the, the third one, The Devil Made Me Do It. Uh, yeah, so um, as I said, it's not a bad film, it just wasn't what I expected. I was expecting it to be kind of a, an exorcism of Emily Rose mixed with uh, the court case drama from that movie, sort of mixed with the Ed and Lorraine case, sort of <clears throat> from sort of the Conjuring first film, sort of thing would have been awesome, but it wasn't. Uh, basically, it's the story of the young boy David who gets possessed. Um, he lives with uh, his family um, and his sister's boyfriend, Arnie Johnson. He's there on the night of an exorcism when Ed and Lorraine uh, Warren were there. They got the priest, the exorcism happens and um, Arnie Johnson tells the demon to go into him and that's where the devil made me do it case. Uh, Arnie Johnson ends up killing his landlord and is arrested for that murder, put into prison and obviously you know the story from that. I'm not going to go too much into that because if you haven't seen the film that will ruin it and you don't know much of the story then I, um, I'm not ruining that for you. So uh, with that said, yeah I was a little let down by this. I was hoping it was going to be, as I said, the Exorcism of Emily Rose court case with maybe the Ed and Lorraine going back flashbacks and uh, slowly bringing the story up maybe with uh, David's possession which there was a lot sort of seemed to miss with that. Um, I've done a lot of reading up on that and it, it a lot of that was really spooky and I was a bit, a bit annoyed they left that out. Um, but yeah this, this moves on from that and the majority of the film is from Arnie Johnson's uh, court, well I say court case, it's not really looked at from court, it's, it's looked at from Ed and Lorraine Warren's 
uh, investigation and trying to work out what's happening and where it's all come from, why it's happening. So with that, all the actors, uh, super stellar performance as always, uh, Vera and Patrick as Ed and Lorraine Warren, awesome all the time. Um, I think his name is Shannon Cook has re returned as, um, I can't remember his name, but he's always there with them on the camera and stuff. <clears throat> so absolute awesome actors in there, really done a really good job. Story was all right, as I said, I don't want to tell you too much, but again, I think there was a lot in there that didn't need to be put in there. I understand there has to be a bit more dramatic, as I said before, but sometimes less is more. And I really do think some of you directors out there need to learn that that is the case, that less is more. And it's been shown with paranormal activity. You, just a squeaky door and something moving or a noise downstairs is just as scary, if not more, than seeing a demon's face or something jumping out at you all the time. You, you can still get a jump from that. And that has been shown in the Paranormal Activity uh, activity Films, which, by the way, number one was the best, because that went a bit bad. Anyway, it's it's not a bad film. It's not. It's, it's really entertaining, as I said. Um, it's definitely worth the watch, and if you've not been to the cinema in ages, it's really worth going to the cinema to watch. Really good popcorn film. Just sit there, have a nice chill, and just watch the film for what it is. Um, this is just me and this is my review and what I think so don't don't be put off by any of that it's just what I think of the film so um, I gave it a 7 out of 10 I think the running time was about 112 minutes which isn't too long really I got quite a bit of story in there but on an overall would have liked to have seen more of David's possession before the build up and I would have liked to have seen it <clears throat> a bit more from the Arnie trial at court but it is what it is and um, there you are so anyway well done Warner Bros with this film uh, director Michael Chaves and James Wan really worth the watch go and watch it um, and if you can stream it stream it it's worth the watch and I'll uh, see you next time. Cheers. And that connection's still broken.